Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of RNK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Now, last week we looked at My Design Album, a most amazing cataloging program. We're going to look at a couple of questions that I got this week and answer in My Design Album. Now, I'm not going to go through and show you how to use this program again. If you're if you did not see last week's video, please go to our archives at myfloriani.club and look at the archive on my design album. I'll show you all the basics on how to use this absolutely amazing program. But I did get a couple of questions this week and I want to address the question of splitting. Now I'm going to come to embroidery and I'm going to go down to holidays. And you know, I've got more than one holiday in here, obviously. So I'm going to type in the keyword Thanksgiving because I put a keyword on some of these designs so that I could bring them in. So I'm going to grab the cornucopia and I'm going to right mouse click on it and I'm going to edit the design and you can see our wonderful little editing program. Now this is absolutely amazing in a cataloging program that we have given you the ability to do some simple editing functions. Of course you can rotate, you can mirror image, you can color sort. If I repeated this design three or four times in here I would want to color sort so I would have less thread changes. So we've given you some really neat options. But what the question was on was splitting. How do I use the split wizard? Now I have done a lesson on this in FTCU, um, but for those of you that are just looking at this program and maybe have never seen FTCU, I am going to go ahead and explain splitting once again. Splitting is something that it, it's good to be reminded of. You could go back about five months and watch the splitting feature in FTCU as well, but they both work the same. Now the first thing you need to know about splitting is you've got to choose the hoop. But let's look at the size of this design first. This is four and a quarter by five, so unless you only have a four by four frame, your five by seven is going to cover this. So let's come in here and select all items. And let's just change the height of this to 7.25 inches. So we're going to make it too tall and too wide for that 4x4 four four frame. And we're going to make it too tall and too wide for a 5x7. So we want to give a little size here. Now this program is going to completely regenerate this design. It's not going to have a bunch of bald spaces because it spread it out to make it as big as I wanted. But by the same token, had I made it a lot smaller, it would not have been a bullet either. Now we do have the 3D view on, so let's go ahead and turn that off. So you do have that even in this program, you have the ability to look at it in 3D. You of course also have the ability of slow redraw. So that's pretty cool. So I could come over here and I could slow redraw the design if I needed to. So these are just nice things to know this program has. But now that I've made this too large for a hoop, let's go ahead and look in here. How do we split a design? Now the first thing you must do, and this is the critical step people miss, you have to tell the program what hoop you're going to use. So I'm going to click on my select a hoop and notice it's got my 5 by 7 chosen because that's the last hoop I used in this program. Now it is in millimeters here but if you look right below that if you have your uh, system set to inches you will see in inches down here as well. Now what I'm going to do here is I know this hoop is going to come up the, with the seven tall. I'm going to rotate this hoop and I'm going to say OK because I just kind of want to look at how this might split. OK. So now that I'm here I'm going to come up to our split wizard and I'm simply going to left mouse click on it. Now I'm going to go to the word next and it's telling me I'm going to split this into two pieces. 
Okay, so we're happy with that. So let's go to next. It's going to split it. And it, if this was a huge design, it could take a long, long, little bit longer time. But as you can see, it's done. Now we are going to go to... It is done. I missed something there. I apologize. Oh, I didn't finish it. I see. So now that I it has split, you can see it is in the two pieces. And now I can finish it. But I want to look at print for a moment first. Now notice in my print preview here, it's showing you what it's all going to look like together. Now it's going to show you, here's part one, and you can see up here it's kind of showing you there too. There's part one of two. There's the colors. Now here's part two of two. And there's the colors for the second part. Now I want to come in here and I'm just going to kind of uh, zoom in a little bit for you. And let's pull this down. I want you to notice you're going to have these registration marks. That's going to help you. You're going to have a straight line and registration marks. So you can line this up when you rehoop. So let's go over here and you're going to see. Got a little happy, clicked a little fast there. You're going to see again, you're going to have that line so you can line these up. So it mark registration mark and line. So you can line that back up very easily. Now let's close this and let's go ahead and finish. Now when we go to finish, what this is going to do is it's going to ask me what I want to name this. Well, I'm going to name this Cornucopia. And I am going to save that. Now I could pick my format right now. So since I've done this for a, a Brother Baby Lock, I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now I'm saving it onto my desktop. And so I'm, you're going to get to see my messy desktop. If you notice right here, here's one of one and two of two. So there's one and two. So there's your two designs. So you can go ahead and take that to your machine and stitch it out. So we have given you that wonderful split feature even in this little tiny editing program. Of course you can change colors in this program. You can rotate. All that good stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson on how to use the splitting function. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Thanks so much. Good night.